Hi, my name is John Consalvi, and I'm here today with Dr. Van Mersbergen from Northern Illinois University. Miriam is not only a professor at Northern Illinois University, she's also a professionally trained singer. We're happy to have her here today to talk to us about voice. Miriam, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Well, Miriam, I am really glad that you're here today to talk to us about voice, and I'm curious about this tape that you brought. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in this video? Well, I particularly like this video because you can see that my vocal folds are sitting on top of my uh, air wing. You can see my tracheal wings. And the first thing you see me doing is closing my vocal folds to make sound. Um, and when the vocal folds close and air goes through them, you can see that they vibrate. I will run out of air and you can see that I open them up again. Uh, and then I go and make a sound uh, at a slightly lower pitch and then you can see my vocal folds are slightly shorter um, because the pitch is lower. Uh, you can appreciate that the vocal folds have a nice floppy skin on them. As they vibrate, that helps with good sound. And as I um, uh, go up in pitch, you can see that my vocal folds are stretching out. Uh, one of the things that is notable about my vocal folds is that I have a little bit of acid reflux, so you can see that the space between my vocal folds in the in the back of the picture, um, are, it's a little red and, and puffy, and that's an indication that um, I have a little bit of reflux, although it doesn't seem to affect the way I sound too much. You would describe this as being 100% normal as far as vocal folds are, con are considered? They do seem to be normal. The way I use my vocal folds is a little different. I have a little gap in the back, and you can, you can appreciate that because my voice is slightly breathy, but that's a cultural uh, norm. Uh, for American females. Other than that, they're pretty normal. They're white and pearly and they don't have any uh, lumps or bumps on the edges of them that would uh, impair the skin on the vocal folds from vibrating the way they are. Well, thank you very much for sharing this personal view of your vocal folds. You're welcome.